Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thank you for stopping by. So today, we're going to go over this Megan and Harry Netflix stress <laughs> that has been taken over the internet by storm. I've been seeing it everywhere in my timeline. I do not keep up with Harry and Megan like that. I check out a few videos once in a while, yes, but I'm not an avid follower. So I'm going to be reviewing episodes one to three because I believe that this came out last week or the week before. Yeah, it came out last week because today is the 17th of December. It came out last week and I'm gonna tell you guys what I think. Okay. Okay, so with episode one, the start of the documentary series is boring. I'm going to be honest i'm not a hater i'm just someone looking and watching and it takes too long to get to the point the other day when my mother and i were watching it my mommy was like okay can this documentary please start can this documentary get to the point it's just what airy fairy tale music that's going on it's nothing intriguing that can grab my attention so in episode one they talk about how they met each other spoke about how megan had an entire life before okay, harry oops sorry um i have this while i'm i'm listening how megan had an entire life before harry and how they met they met over instagram um and Harry was scrolling through her feed and Megan was scrolling through his vice versa, blah, blah, blah. I thought they met through mutual friends. I don't know. I thought that was the original story. So I could be wrong. If, I, if I'm if i correct, let me know, please. And thank you. Um, But yes, and how he saw the dog filter but on Megan, but he looked past the dog filter. Okay, that's weird. Anyways, so he spoke about how they met and how um, he was late for the first date. I think it was like 30 minutes on an hour and Megan was like, oh, who does he think he is? And she, she's not going to accept this and she was annoyed or upset or something. I don't know. She, she just basically said that she's not going to accept this. She's not going to accept this. And during this you can just see that megan is the one that wears the pants in this relationship okay yes harry is in the passenger seat and megan is in the driving seat because after that harry was like yeah but on the second day you were late as well and megan was like what was that huh and harry kind of shy shied away and it was a very awkward exchange to watch because I'm like, yo, brother, if you're saying something to your wife, say it with boldness. Don't shy away from what you have to say to her. So that was kind of odd. That was kind of strange. Um, it also spoke about like the announcement when they were announcing that they were engaged. It spoke about Diana. They like they brought up Diana a lot. I don't know if these guys are monetizing from the popularity of Princess Diana and the tragedy that happened to her. Rest her soul in peace. But they brought up a lot of Diana. Um, they brought up the Queen. Um, they spoke about the palace as a hierarchy and yeah it's a palace it's a organization every organization every family has a hierarchy if you are looking at a nuclear family you have in a christian biblical sense you have god you have the husband you have the wife and then you have the children in normal everyday sense you just have the parents and you have the kids so in everything even when you go to work there's a, there's a hierarchy you have the ceo you have the owner slash ceo or you have the owner then ceo then you have managers then you have assistants and then you have employees so i don't know what he was trying to do or say when he spoke about the fact that there is hierarchy in in the the palace in the royal family of course it's it's a royal family what do you expect right just as how other um there are other royal families around the world and um 
they have a hierarchy too so what are you talking about also in the series it spoke about privacy issues um they made, made mention of yeah they made mention of um diana and how she tried to protect the privacy of harry and his brother and showed clips of like skiing trip and other trips where they went on and um she was like to the photographer please could you give my children privacy um and things of that nature basically the first episode it was kind of boring it did not do or say much it just spoke of spoken give an introduction of basically who these two are spoke about how they met spoke about diana spoke about harry and his trip to africa you know how the media displayed him in a negative night in a negative light um for some instances of his life how he was a party goer and how he did drugs and things like that and i believe that he like went away to african country um to find himself i don't remember the name of the african country though and um he joined the army which is good which is nice um it also made mention that her um megan joined harry on one of his philanthropical philanthropical <laughs> one of his humanitarian african visits and they had to share a tent for five days which is kind of strange because if i just met and i am not sharing a tent with him for five days I'm, that, that's just me i'm not judging i'm not insinuating that anything happened in the tent okay I, I don't know. but i'm i'm just saying okay but yeah like overall it was a pretty boring first episode i i'm not gonna judge him too hard because it's it's the first episode it's just basically an introduction into how they met how megan had a career before harry and um who megan was it gave a little glimpse into who megan was it gave a little glimpse into who harry was it spoke about diana it spoke about the queen and there wasn't a big takeaway like the first episode there was nothing new there was no new learning curve for anyone who already knew about what was going on and maybe they did it that way on purpose i don't know but um they could have as it relates to the editing they could have edited a bit better if they're really they're really going for a dramatic effect well i guess it it depends on what they're going for because if they want people to feel sorry for them um the music it kind of sways me to feel kind of sad kind of light um kind of airy and kind of sleepy as well because it's drawn out and there's a lot of dead air but if they're looking for like a dramatic appeal or something that will give a lot of excitement this first video does not give that at all but anyways guys i'm gonna do part two in another video don't forget to like comment and subscribe did you watch part one let me know what was your favorite part if you had a favorite part and i'll see you in the next video bye, -bye.